So hopefully you enjoyed that little skit at the start. I'm probably gonna do a few more like them because they are pretty fun to make, to be quite honest with you, especially when the cat stars in it. But you might be wondering what the topic of this video is from the title. And essentially guys, I've been teasing this for the last couple of weeks, but I want to branch out from just MacBook and Apple reviews and content and examine some other laptops on the market out there, such as Razer, XPS, or some of the other even gaming models out there. So as you guys can see here, I do have one. And I did make a poll a couple of days ago asking you guys if you wanted to see this content and overwhelmingly the answer was yes. So I have gone out and purchased a brand new Razer Blade 14 with my own money. This video is not sponsored, but this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Create professional looking websites without coding or software installations. More on that later. Now, don't get me wrong, I really do love my Apple Silicon Macs. So right here, I have the M1 MacBook Pro. I've also got my daily driver, which is the M1 MacBook Air. Still really love these Macs, and I will continue to do videos on them, but I really do want to compare them against other laptops like this, especially the MacBook Pro, because this is actually very similar to a laptop like this. I'll touch on that later. And then potentially the M1X and also M2 MacBooks when they come out later this year. Laptops such as this or perhaps the XPS 15 are gonna be a really great comparison when those more powerful MacBooks come out. Okay, so let's just pop the Apple Silicon Macs off to the side for now. Okay, so I have to say, uh, this seems pretty well packaged. That is the charger. So we'll put that to the side, we'll take out this bad boy that off to the side there. And there we go in all of its glory. So we'll just pop it out and I'll just sit it here for a second. Okay, so let's quickly talk about the specs and also the price of this machine. And I'll do a quick comparison to the Apple Silicon M1 MacBook. Okay, so just using my phone for some notes for a second. So this is obviously the Razer Blade 14, the base model with the RTX 3060 graphics card. That goes for $1799 US dollars. Now, if I actually compare this against an M1 MacBook Pro, so prices start at $1299, but don't forget guys, this has 16 gigabytes of RAM and also a one terabyte SSD. So if you were to actually upgrade the M1 MacBook Pro to match the specs of this machine, you'd be looking at $18.99. So that makes the Razer Blade 14 100 US dollars cheaper than the M1 MacBook Pro. Now I'm not gonna get into differences of software and even performance benchmarking at this point. That's gonna be for another video. But I just thought I'd get that out of the way at the moment because although Apple Silicon products are awesome and they're still very powerful, don't underestimate what companies like Nvidia and AMD are pumping out and are also working on behind the scenes. Okay, so what else do we get in the box? Well, it looks like we get some instructions here, so nothing too crazy. Honestly, guys, the unboxing experience is very similar to a MacBook. I mean, you get the same kind of booklets, you get a little screen cleaning cloth, uh, you get some razor stickers. So basically at this point, uh, it's almost like a Windows version of a MacBook. Now moving on to the actual machine itself. Now guys, I know this is primarily a gaming machine, but like I said before, the CPU and also the GPU in here also makes it a very capable workstation for those of you that want to do rendering or 3D modeling or anything apart from gaming. And just the fact that it comes with one terabyte SSD and also 16 gigs of RAM, I mean, that's a pretty solid deal. So let's get this out of here. A quick message from our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace provides you with award-winning templates to help your site stand out. Build yourself a simple website in minutes by replacing text, images, and colors in your chosen template with your own no coding required. Make any website, a personal portfolio, a resume, a shopping site, a blog, and more. Just choose a template, give your site a title, and you're ready to go. Squarespace has website analytics to help you keep track of how your website is doing and find weaker areas to help you get a steady flow of traffic. Rank higher by utilizing their SEO tools to increase the quality and quantity of your website traffic. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and once you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash tech to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Just while I get it out of the packaging, another quick tidbit of knowledge for you guys. So if you've seen on my channel, I actually do all of my editing and gaming 
on a pretty beefy Windows PC. So that has a Ryzen 3900X CPU and the 5900HX, which is a laptop CPU in this machine, is only 7% less powerful than my desktop one. So obviously that's theoretically in actual performance, it's probably gonna be a little bit more than that, but I suppose we'll see. All right, so let's actually start by spinning it around the right way. So right off the bat, in terms of the dimensions, this is a 14 inch machine. But if we actually compare this against the M1 MacBook Pro, as you guys can see there, it is very, very similar. There really is not that much more of a footprint. Now, if I put it on top of the Razer, you can start to see that, yes, there's that little extra inch, but it's really not that bad. Now, if I hold it up to the camera, uh, in terms of the thickness, yes, of course, the Razer is going to be a bit thicker, a bit of a thick boy right there, but uh, again, nothing too crazy. Now, moving to the bottom, this is where you can really see a difference. So as we can see there, we've got two relatively big fans sticking out, just a little bit of mesh. Uh, covering it. We've also got another sort of intake grill here and we've got these quite thick rubber uh, pads here that's actually going to lift the laptop off the ground to give it a little bit more air to actually suck in. So right off the bat guys, you can see that this is a pretty high performing machine compared to the MacBook. All right. Now the chassis of this is obviously aluminum or aluminium for my Australian friends out there. Um, I do think the black will not wear quite as good as the MacBook, but uh, that's all right. So opening up, let's take this off. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend an hour or two setting it up and also trying out some games like Valorant so I can actually try out the refresh rate. And I'll come back to you guys and give you my first impressions. Okay guys, so it's been a couple of hours since I first set this machine up and I'm pretty pleased to say that it's actually been a really good experience so far. Now I decided to try some gaming first because of course this is a 144 hertz monitor and this was the thing about this laptop I was a bit worried about because it is only a full HD resolution which is obviously 1920 by 1080p and I'm usually used to the retina display on the MacBooks or even a 1440p screen. Now I'm pleased to say that this particular screen actually looks really good even though it is a slightly lower resolution to what I'm used to. I think it's just because of the size of the monitor, it's only 14 inches, it's relatively small, but that allows you to actually play your games at a really high FPS. So I was playing Valorant and I had the settings maxed out and I was getting over 100 FPS. Really, really great experience, very, very smooth gameplay. And then I moved on to PUBG, which traditionally is a relatively difficult game to run. And I maxed all the settings out again, and I was able to get around 90 to 100 FPS. Now, the fans were relatively loud during this point, but they weren't overbearingly so. Now, gaming is, of course, a big part of the Razer Blade 14, not so much the MacBook Pro, but I'll examine that in a future video later on. So just to keep this video relatively short, I'm gonna give you my really brief first impressions. Overall guys, I am pretty impressed, especially because bear in mind, like I mentioned previously, this particular model is 100 US dollars less than the equivalently specced MacBook Pro. The keyboard feels really good. The trackpad feels really good as well. I really love the port selection on the sides. So I'm very, very interested and excited to actually check this thing out over the next couple of weeks, do a review and also compare against some other laptops. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If there's anything that you wanna see on this laptop or me comparing it to something else, for example, let me know in the comment section down below. But apart from that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.